Welcome everyone to this video lecture, Laplace transform of periodic function. I am Dr. H. Girijabai, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, Satibama Institute of Science and Technology, deemed to be university. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss Laplace transform and how it applied to the periodic function. Let me first cover Laplace transform. So, Laplace transform had a wide application in many areas of engineering. Laplace transform provide an easy and uh, effective means for the solution of uh, many problems in engineering. It finds very wide applications in various areas of physics, electrical engineering, control engineering, optics, mathematics and signal processing. For example, unit step function or a heaviside function and then RC circuit or a single rectangular way, RLC circuit to a sinusoidal input way like that for all circuit will apply this Laplace transform. So, how it works? So, the Laplace transform is a mathematical tool which used to convert the differential equations in a time domain to a frequency domain that we termed as a S domain. So, the unilateral Laplace transform f of t function of a t where the time dependent t greater than or equal to 0 is defined as L of f of t Laplace transform of a function f of t is equal to integral ranges over 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t dt. Here t is a variable, t depend on time dependent function. So, we apply the limits for t 0 as an infinity, the result will be in terms of s. So, we also term this L of f of t as capital F of s, function of s. So, what is s? Here s is a parameter, it takes a, a real or a complex number. And then what is the periodic function? When we say a function is periodic, at a particular interval, at a certain interval, the same value getting repeated. So, a periodic function is a function that repeats its values at a regular interval. A function is said to be periodic if and only if it should satisfy certain condition. What are the condition? f of function of x plus p is equal to f of x. Then we say p is the period of the function. For all values of a p and for every value of a x, the p should be a smallest value. For example, if you look into the sine function, what is the period of a sine function for the sine wave? So, sin x is equivalent to if we are take a sine of x plus pi by 2, that is equal to in terms of cosine, not equal to sine. If I took x plus pi, then again we will get a negative, that is not same. So, if you take 270 degree, then again we will get a cosine function. When we will get the same function? When x plus p is equal to 2 pi. So, in that case only we will get a sin x. So, for a sine function, period is equal to 2 pi. In this way, we will find out the sine function. It varies from 0 to 1 and then minus 1 and then again uh, reaches a uh, approaches 0. So, the same way of getting repeated for 2 pi to 4 pi, 4 pi to 6 pi, 6 pi up to infinity. So, similarly, we will discuss for cosine function also. For cos also, the period is 2 pi. Cos of x plus 2 pi is equal to cos x. And But for tan x, tan x will get a tan of x plus pi is e equivalent to tan x. So, for tan function, the period is pi. So, let me see the different uh, wave function. So, what are the wave function like the sine wave, square wave, triangular, sawtooth wave. Now, we are going to discuss all those uh, functions by using Laplace transform. So, for the first we have to derive the Laplace transform theorem for how to solve for a periodic function. Let me look at the theorem now. What is the theorem? The Laplace transform of a periodic function f of x is equal to f of x plus b where p is a period. Then how to calculate Laplace transform of that periodic function? L of f of t is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e power minus p s integral ranges over 0 to p here not infinity. So, 0 to p value only get reading repeated for p to 2 p, 2 p to 3 p up to infinity. So, integral ranges over 0 to p e power minus s t f of t d t. So, first we will assume the general concept, general function L of f of t is equal to integral ranges over 0 to infinity e power minus s t f of t d t that is equivalent to capital F of s. So, now according to the period of p, we just divide the integral 0 to infinity as 0 to p plus the remaining range. What is the remaining range here? p to infinity. So, 0 to p e power minus s t f of t d t 
plus p to infinity e power minus s t f of t dt. So, there is no change in the first integral, only we have to consider the second integral just to change the limits p to infinity as 0 to infinity. I am assuming that as t is equal to u plus p, just we are real shifting. So, by assuming t is equal to u plus p, if you differentiate both sides dt is equal to du. Now, correspondingly we have to change the limits. So, when t is equal to p means in place of uh, t if you substitute p, what happen u reduces to 0. Similarly, t infinity means there is no change u equal to infinity. So, we have to substitute these values and limits in the second integral, then the equation 2 reduces to L of f of t is equal to integral there is no change in the first one write it as it is and in the second integral integral ranges over 0 to infinity e power minus s in place of t we have to rewrite everything in terms of u. So, u plus p f of u plus p du as we all know this is a periodic function of period p therefore f of u plus p is same as f of u therefore by rewriting integral second integral e power minus s p integral ranges over 0 to infinity e power minus s u f of u d u. So, now the second integral is nothing but a Laplace transform format integral ranges over 0 to infinity e power minus s u f of u d u is nothing but Laplace transform. So, we have signed that one as L of f of t. Now, just collecting the terms L of f of t in one side it reduces to L of f of t into 1 minus e power minus s p is equal to integral 0 to p e power minus s t f of t dt. So, which implies Laplace transform of a periodic function L of f of t is equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus p s integral 0 to p e power minus s t f of t dt. So, to calculate a Laplace transform of any periodic function we will apply this formula. Now, we will discuss some example under this periodic function. First, let me consider half wave rectifier function. What is the function for half wave rectifier? f of t is equal to capital E sin omega t. So, here the range of that function is 0 to pi by omega and pi by omega to 2 pi by omega the function take the value 0. That is why we say half wave rectifier function. So, what is the period of the function? f of t plus pi by omega is equivalent to f of t. It means p is equal to 2 pi by omega. So, f of t is a periodic function with a period p is equal to 2 pi by omega. Then now what you do? How we have to calculate the Laplace transform? So, in place of p in that formula we have to replace it with 2 pi by omega. So, first we will write out the formula. Later we substitute it in terms of a p as a 2 pi by omega. In the range 0 to 2 pi by omega is a function take the same value? No. Here we have two different values. So, let me divide the integral into two half. 0 to pi by omega, pi by omega to 2 pi by omega. So, second half vanishes. Now, we are going to integrate hereafter with respect to t. So, it is of the form e power minus s t sin omega t dt. So, e is some constants, we will take it out. So, therefore, e by and how we have to rewrite this term? e power minus pi s by omega, we may rewrite that one as a 2 pi 2 pi s by omega can be written as e power minus pi s by omega the whole square ok. So, we will rewritten it is of the form a square minus b square a plus b into a minus b. So, by substituting the formula of e power minus s t into sin omega t it reduces to e power minus s t by s square plus omega square minus s into sin omega t minus omega cos omega t. So, hereafter we have to apply the upper limit as pi by omega in place of t and in place of a t the lower limit as 0. So, now we are going to substitute the limits. So, after substituting the limits it reduces like this here omega omega get cancelled what is the value of sin pi sin 0 0 sin pi is also 0. Similarly, cos pi value cos 0 value is 1. So, cos pi the value is minus 1 and sin 0 0 cos 0 0. So, by substituting all the value now the numerator we getting omega into e power minus s pi by omega plus omega and the denominator here s square plus omega square into the product of the two factors ok. So, in the numerator we may also take the value of omega outside if you took omega outside it reduces to 1 plus e power minus s pi by omega already you have the same term in the denominator. So, if you strike it out these two terms then the value of L of Laplace transform of a half wave rectifier 
L of f of t is equal to e omega by 1 minus e power minus pi s by omega into s square plus omega square. Is it clear? Now we will switch on to the next problem. So what is the next problem? We will discuss a sawtooth wave. So what is the sawtooth wave? What is the function of sawtooth wave? f of t. So this is a picture over that. f of t is equal to t. It takes a value t when 0 ranges over t ranges over 0 to a and f of t is equal to 2a minus t when t ranges over a to 2a. So what is the period of this function? f of t plus 2a is equal to f of t means period p is equal to 2a. So again in the Laplace transform formula in place of p we have to rewritten with a 2a. So L of f of t is equal to 1 by 1 minus in place of p we rewritten as 2a integral ranges over 0 to 2a. So again we have to check whether it takes a single function or two different function. So here 0 to a it takes a value t and a 2a a to 2a takes a value 2a minus t. So divide the splitting the integral into two parts and correspondingly substitute the function f of t. So integral 0 to a e power minus st t into dt plus integral a to 2a e power minus st 2a minus t dt. Now how to solve that function? So now here we have product of two function. So we are going to apply the Bernoulli's formula. So just before to get into that we just go through that how to solve the Bernoulli's formula u dv integration by parts extension of that is nothing but uv minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 minus etc plus minus alternate u dash u double dash u triple dash or the successive differentiation v1 v2 v3 or the successive integration. So by applying that formula in the first integral we assume u is equal to t. So this next integration u dash is equal to 1 u double dash onwards it vanishes it reduces to 0. Similarly, in the second integral u is equal to 2a minus t while differentiating that with respect to t u dash is equal to minus 1 and u double dash onwards again it vanishes it reduces to 0. In both function we will assume that a value v is equal to e power minus st. So therefore first integral, integral of e power minus st is e power minus st by minus s. Again integrating v2 is equal to e power minus st by minus s. Already we have one minus s therefore minus s the whole square. So in this way we are going to integrate. So we calculated here since uh, we have value still u dash. So u dash v1 and then u double dash v2. So by applying this result 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2 a s. So applying the Bernoulli's formula u v1 minus u dash v2 between the limits 0 to a and second half 2 a minus t u into v1 e power minus st by minus s and then minus of minus 1 into e power minus st by minus s square between the limits a to 2 a. Now in the first half by applying in place of t as a it reduces to a into e power minus a s by and second term minus e power minus a s by s square. What about the third term? Now we have to replace t equal to 0 then it reduces to 0 and then e power 0 reduces to 1 anything power 0 values reduces to 1. Similarly in the second half first we are going to apply the upper limit t is equal to 2a. So 2a minus 2a reduces to 0. So first term reduces to 0 and second we will apply in place of t as 2a. Now the lower limit as a again rewritten 2a minus a reduces to a e power minus a s by minus s. So now the values reduces like this. So automatically a e power minus a s by s and minus e power minus a s by s of opposite sign. So cancel each other. And by collecting the remaining terms, what are the terms we have? So 1 plus e power minus 2as minus 2 times e power minus as by s square. So now the numerator is of the form a square. e power minus 2as is nothing but e power minus as the whole square. Again e power minus 2as is nothing but e power minus as the whole square. So it is of the form a square plus b square minus 2ab. In the same method we rewritten the denominator a square minus b square format. So a plus b into a minus b. So therefore by applying this a minus b whole square and we will strike it out this 1 minus e power minus as the left out term we have 1 minus e power minus as 
divided by s square into 1 plus e power minus a s. Just by taking minus a s by 2 outside, it reduces to e power a s by 2 minus e power minus a s by 2 divided by e power a s by 2 plus e power minus a s by 2. Then it is nothing but it. So, the form e power x minus e power minus x divided by e power x plus e power minus x. That is nothing but tan hx. Therefore, Laplace transform of a sawtooth wave is reduces to 1 by s square tan h of a s by 2. Hope you understand the concept of Laplace transform and periodic function. Thank you all.